Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to show you how to find a volume using integration by parts. So basically, the integral, we have to use integration by parts, and then we have to find the, one of the method, which is cylindrical shell method, to evaluate a volume. Now, this is in chapter 7.1, number 62 in Stewart textbook. So then I have to use the shell method, and then first I would say that I would want to draw the picture. Okay, y equal to e to the x, which is something like this. y equal to e to the minus x, which is something like this. Okay, and then x equals to 1. So that means that I have my region bounded by here. And then it's about the y-axis, so I'm turning it right here. Now, if you don't know how to draw this, how, how, how are you going to find the interval, the boundary, right? This is obviously from zero to one. So how can we find the zero here? So you can actually e equate both function e to the x equals to e to the minus x. So that you can actually have um, to find the intersection of the two function. Now, what is e to the minus x? This is basically one over e to the x. Now, if you multiply it onto the other side, you get e to the two x equals to one. Now, that means x must be equal to zero. Okay, so therefore you found your intersection from zero to one. So I know that my integral volume is equals to two pi, because that's the shell method from zero to one. Now, if you look at my notes, the shell method, the rectangle are parallel to the axis of revolution. Okay, and my axis is vertical. So my rectangle must be vertical. And then I have two pi here, I have set up everything. I need to find out what is P and what is H. P is the distance between the axis to my rectangle. Okay, so, and I will have to subtract the axis of revolution, okay, using that X minus axis of revolution, which is zero in this case. So I know that my P, P of x is equals to x minus zero. Okay, so that's just x. How about h? h is basically the height of the rectangle, so the top function subtract the bottom function. The top function is e to the x, bottom function is e to the minus x. So I have e to the x subtract e to the minus x. Okay, so I have something like this. Now I can set it up into my integrals here. Okay, put it back into the top here, I have x times e to the x minus e to the minus x dx. So this is my volume equation using the shell method. Now, I want to evaluate this integral. So let's do it on the next page. I have volume equals to two pi from zero to one, x times e to the x minus e to the minus x dx. So I want to multiply this out the volume equals to two pi integral from zero to one, x e to the x, I'll separate the integral, you know? So dx subtract two pi integral from zero to one, x to the e to the minus x dx. Okay, so I have the two integral. If you look at this here, it's basically integration by parts, if you remember the table, Okay, it's x to the n, e to the x dx. But here I want to show you how to use reduction formula. Okay, if you learn reduction formula, you can use reduction formula to evaluate. This is number three here. And also, if you don't, you haven't learned reduction formula, you can basically use this table and follow the substitution, right? The integration by part substitution. So if I use the reduction formula here, I can just apply this equation, okay? If I apply that equation, this is going to give you two pi x e to the x, it becomes x e to the x minus e to the x, okay? Because I have my n here to be one, a to be one, so I have x e to the x, subtract 
one integral of e to the x here because x to the power of zero is just one. Okay, so you can do a step by step plug in numbers on this formula and you see that the integral is e to the x. The integral of e to the x is basically e to, e to the x. So I have this part right here. This is my integral before, but then integral of e to the x is e to the x. Now on the other side, so this is from zero to one, subtract two pi. Now this is e to the minus x. The difference is just going to be minus x e to the minus x minus e to the minus x. Again, you can use the same formula and plug in the numbers. Now that your exponent here, the coefficient here is minus one, so you have everything to be minus one. Minus one here and minus one here. Okay, so this is how you get to this answer here. Okay, so if I have something like this, how would I evaluate this integral? I just need to plug in one and zero, okay? And if you plug in one and zero, you figure out that this is going to be four pi over e, okay? This is my volume here, okay? Just plug in one into the x, subtract, plug in x as a zero, same thing on the other side, and then you will get to the answer. This is fundamental theorem of calculus, uh, calculus two, part one or part two, depending on your teacher, how he, he teach you the order will be different, but then this is using the fundamental theorem of calculus. So for more information about volumes, integration by parts, or even fundamental theorem of calculus, please visit my website, goforaplus.com.